so next cuboid so this is the cuboid this is also three dimensional figure so length l b b height length breadth height the first lateral surface area 2h into l plus b okay next total surface area 2 into lb plus bh plus hl third volume l into b into h next cube so cube means each side is e all the sides are equal a a a or you can say x x x better so first lateral surface area 4x square total surface area 6x square third volume x cube Volume is x cube. Next is sphere. This is a sphere R radius is R. Surface area four pi r square. Value four by three pi r cube. If the diameter is given, you have to change. For example, d is equal to two r. This is a relation. With the help of this relation, we can change surface area volume in terms of d. R is equal to d by two. Substituting. So this is sphere. So next, what we have. sector sector is the part of the circle for example we take a circle so arc r radius r theta is the sectorial angle then area of the sector half into lr or half r square theta next perimeter this is Okay, perimeter means two r plus l r. So now, cuboid, cube, sphere, and sector. So here, perimeter is equal to two r plus l, where l is the length of the arc, length of the arc. Okay. Next, now let us discuss problems on errors and approximations. Okay. First question: The approximate value of square root of one point zero two is. First option, second option, third option, fourth option. We have. So, if you want to do this problem, in general. Using traditional method, which is very very lengthy method, 
uh, already in the introduction part we have discussed this is root form we know root of x plus delta x value using that concept this problem can be easily we can solve it. So, let us solve it here see the hint. So, first let us analyze the problem this problem comes under root of x plus delta x approximate value. So, now this can be written root of 1.02 can be written as root of 1 plus 0 0.02 can I write it. Now, this appears to be root of x plus delta x this is approximately equal to x plus 1 by 2 root x into delta x. So, very simple now see what is x 1 what is delta x 0 0.02 just substitute. So, now this approximate value that means root of 1.02 approximate value equal to x stands for 1 plus 1 by 2 root of 1 into delta x stands for 0 0.02. So, this is approximately equal to 1 plus 0 0.02 by root 1 is 1, 2 into 1, 2. So, approximately equal to 1 plus 0 0.01. What is the value? Yes, this is equal to 1.01. .01. You check it which is the right option? Yes, you are correct. First option is the right option. So, very simple manner this problem can be cracked. Okay. So, let us go to the second problem. The approximate value of fifth root of 33 is how much? 2.0125, 2.1, 2.01 3.258 okay let us do it so now this fifth root of 33 can be written as fifth root of 32 plus 1 you may have one doubt why should we write like this because the fifth root of 32 easily we can find out. 32 is nothing but 2 to the power of 5. Fifth root of 32 is 2. So, that is why we should write like this only. So, understood now. So, now we have the formula. What is the formula? Formula is here nth root of x plus delta x approximately equal to x to the power of or nth root x plus 1 by n into x to the power of 1 by n minus 1 into delta x. Here this fifth root 32 plus 1 approximately equal to fifth root 32 fifth root 32 plus 1 by 5 into x to the power of x means 32 power of 1 by 5 minus 1 into delta x is 1. This fifth root 32 is this is 2 to the power of 5 whole to the power of 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 into 2 to the power of 5 this will be minus 4 by 5. 5 5 cancel 5 5 cancel into 1 means you can leave it no problem 1 is multiple identity this becomes 2 this is 1 plus 1 by 5 into 2 to the power of minus 4 means 1 by 2 to the power of 4 1 by 16 so 2 plus 1 by 80 now just divide 1 by 80 see if you divide 1 by 80 it cannot be divided 0. 0.0 now 1 ja 80 0 20 200 
to 160. So, 40, 0, 5, 0. 0. 0.0125. 0. So, that means 2 plus 0. 0.0125. This is equal to how much? 2.0125. This is the answer. Is there? Yes. The first option is the right option.